Part 2 in talking about April 10th is expectations, thoughts on finally finishing, and plans for the future. The... I'm going to start with the back and work my way forward. Plans for the future are... Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I did have thoughts of maybe doing another, you know, doing another, putting together another documentary. I had thoughts of, you know, I had thoughts of fake, you know, just putting all my energy into the book now. I had thoughts of just, you know, focusing on, you know, maybe doing a podcast, you know, maybe doing a monthly podcast. I don't really know what the future, I don't know, I don't really know what the future holds. What I can say is, on April 10th, it does not, we were not there. We are not releasing the entirety of the documentary together. It will progressively start to release over the course of April 10th, with one part releasing each day over that, over that week. There are six parts to the documentary. The reason why I will not release them collectively as one is because the initial plan was, with all six to release them I put them in parts of in three parts but or make it into three parts but the reason why I decided not to do that is because of the length that it would be if I made it just three parts and I thought that I agreed with the suggestion from somebody that I think very highly of that if I went that way, it may sway people from watching it because of the length that it would be as opposed to shrinking it down and making it more of a podcast type thing and not a, you know, convenience of, oh, well, you're just going to put three together. You know, instead of six separate ones, you put th you put two in each and you make it three so you shrink it down by three, you know, you cut it in half and it's like, yeah, but at the same time, what would be, what would more people likely watch? Shorter rather than longer. But, you know, so, I mean, did I enjoy doing this? Yeah, to, for the most part, yeah, I did. I, I thoroughly enjoyed putting together the documentary and doing everything that I did. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The only thing I would say is this. The amount of work and the amount of leaning on other people and the amount of just wishing that if somebody didn't want to be a part of it, they would have just told me no. Rather than telling me yes to try and save my feelings. Because I'm not saying that that had anything to do with why or that was the ultimate reason. That was part of the reason why the documentary took, you know, the Twitch project took, this, took as long as it did. And yes, I'm still getting used to calling it the Twitch project and not the documentary. That it is one of the reasons. It is. 100%. It is one of the reasons. It is not the only reason. I'm the, old, I'm the other reason. The reason why I'm unsure of what I want to do next after the Twitch project releases is because I don't know, commitment-wise, would I be able to put in the work, put in the effort, and make something like this happen again? Or would it be a one sh Is it where it's a one-shot thing, and it is just going to be the Twitch project, and that's it? You know, where I just talk to other streamers... And we just go about our business, you know, we talk about our experience on the platform and we have conversations about Twitch and social media and, you know, the pandemic and how things affected us and all that stuff. And just Twitch, you know, streaming, you know, a documentary from the streamer standpoint about conversa having conversations with streamers that I feel like are overshadowed by people not really thinking that it's a conversation that streamers have. 
And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. And I'm sure I could find another conversation like that to have. But the fact of the matter is, it's the work that goes into having that conversation and doing that type of thing that I don't know if I'm able to sit here and do it. You know what I mean? Because if there's anything that I have, it's if there's anything that this shows, it's I mean, yes, mentally, I am in a better position now than I was in two and a half, three years ago when I first started thinking about doing the documentary and two years ago when I first started putting together the documentary. I am. And the documentary is 100% totally different from what it was two, three years ago because of the people that are in it. You know, there's different people in it now than there was initially, or than who was going to be in there initially. A hundred percent. Because a lot of the people were the people that said yes, but never intended on being a part of it. Whether it was a timing issue, whether it because they didn't want to say no. You know, but the fact of the matter is, I honestly would have rather than said no, and I would have just moved on. But I understand from the perspective that maybe they wanted to be a part of it, but they didn't want to be a part of it the way I intended them being a part of it. Like, they didn't want to sit here and talk. They just wanted to be a part of it by a, as a viewer. And I understand that. But that's where, that's where the other part comes in of Plans for the Future. You know, like, I don't know what the future holds because... I don't know if, I don't know how easy it would be to do something like this again, is basically all I'll say. You know, it's basically all I'll say. Thoughts on finally finishing? Honestly, I, I don't have really any thoughts on finally finishing. And because I don't know that I will have thoughts on finally finishing until it's published, you know, until all six parts are on Twitter, on YouTube and we're looking at, I'm looking at it on YouTube and on red circle and I'm like, Oh shit, we're actually done. Like it's actually up. People can actually watch it. Two years of hard work is finally finished. Like what are people going to think? You know, it's going to be scary shit and I'm going to have anxiety because of it. It's going to be, it's going to be anxiety inducing. It's going to be horrible but it's going to be, I'm hoping to God it's freaking worth it because of the fact that otherwise, would I want to do it again? Honestly, I think the answer to that question is yes, because if there's anything you guys know about me, it's the fact that I love long form content. I mean, just look back at all the Iron Man matches I did last year, but it's the idea that, I mean, what expectations should I have? How should I feel? You know what I mean? I don't know. Honestly, honestly, I, I, I honestly don't know. And that's the scary part. That's the crazy part. I, I, I honestly don't know how to feel because I don't know what expectations I should have. You know, I hope that, you know, one of my expectations would be that, you know, people enjoy it that people see it for what it is and that's shining a light on something that doesn't really get attention, you know, and giving streamers, the, giving streamers who deserve the exposure, the opportunity to get a little bit more attention shined on their streams and to maybe, because I'm not streaming it. I'm putting it out there and sharing it with the world. And I'm going to be putting links to those streamers that are involved in the documentary, in each part of the documentary, and any other links that they would want me to put in, I would include for them to help them because that's part of the reason why I included them. It's because I wanted to help them. Simple as that. Simple as that. I wanted to help them. I wanted to help them and assist them and be the, and be someone that helps people who I like, who I appreciate, and who helped me i want to help them simple as that so maybe my expectation is that some of the people in the documentary get some more followers maybe they get a new subscriber maybe they get more attention maybe that's it because can i financially benefit from this no 
what are my I have no expectations because you guys have defied every single one of my expectations over the last year that I, it's not possible for me to have expectations because honestly I never thought I'd finish honestly I never thought I'd finish but on April 10th the project I never thought that would be done or one of the projects I never thought that that would never thought that that would never thought that it would be done actually are done and then maybe we'll do another video after you know maybe we'll do another video after april 10th when we talk about plans for the future maybe that's it or maybe i'll keep plans for the future under wraps and we'll take it from there but i think that's probably the better way to do it and maybe doing another video after april 10th to see if my expectations have been met, or if you guys defied my expectations again. Either way, let me know down in the comment section below if you prefer videos like this where you have the gameplay in the background, or if it's just me talking. Either way, let me know your opinion. And with that being said, April 10th is right around the corner, and I'll be here before we know it. So I hope you guys are as excited about the Twitch project premiering as I am. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.